Welcome back to another Gatton CNC video. I will be building the base in this video. Here I am taking off the rounded corners of two by fours to get things nice and square. This is optional, but it makes things look a little better. And then I cut the ends perfectly 90 degrees. Now, if you do this right, everything will pull together square and 90 degrees. So it's best to um, make sure everything is perfect. Here I'm using pocket holes. Yes, pocket holes. I know that's a big controversy in some parts of the community, but they work really well. And I tried to use as many things as possible to make sure everything was at 90 degree angles. Didn't quite have the room to use all of this stuff, but I did my best. Be sure and subscribe to the video. I'll have more of these build videos. You don't want to miss them. More pocket holes, yay. I almost forgot to mention my name is Matt Haas. If you're new here, say hi Matt in the comments. I'd like to meet you. Now I made a huge mistake here. This is a very old saw and the blade is so dull. Even with the blue tape, look at what it does. And I didn't even follow the line. I had to correct my mistake here with this handheld belt sander. And then I went way overboard and drove way too many screws in. <laughs> but hey, if you're gonna build it, build it right. Now I cut off these small pieces, one and seven eighths, and this is going to be attached to the bottom and the aluminum angle will be attached to this. Drop a like, please, that helps. Now I start preparing the aluminum angle. Once again, I use woodworking equipment to make the cut. I know it can be kind of crazy using woodworking equipment to cut metal, but you can do that with aluminum. I'm preparing the screw holes here. These are just big enough to accept the wood screws, and then I come back with a chamfer and give it a little bit of a chamfer so they can grab nice and strong. Perfect. Now, when you set this, everything will be referenced off of this particular rail. And I used the factory edge of the sheet of plywood. There are more Gatton CNC build videos in the card up in the corner. It's also a link in the description. As usual, drill a pilot hole and then drive the screws all of the way. Now the one on the opposite side needs to be exactly parallel with the one you've just used. And I use that scrap board as a way to put exact measurements on both. But as long as you've used that scrap board in all the locations, it will be exactly parallel, which is important. And here we go. This is done. These lower rails cannot be installed now. They will have to be installed at a later time. Thanks for watching.